You may have heard that Premiere Pro is coming out with an auto transcription feature. You can download the Premiere Pro beta version right now and that will allow you to check out the new captions track, which I'll be showing you in a bit. But if I go over to the transcript tab, you will see that all you can do is apply to the early access program. I'm Nick Sanders and this is Video Deconstructed. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a workaround that will get you started right now. So I'm going to demonstrate this process as if I have to keep my project in the non-beta version of Premiere Pro. If you haven't downloaded the beta version of Premiere Pro yet, go to your Creative Cloud app and over on the left hand column, you should see this beta apps option and you can click on install. Mine says open since I've already installed it. Now create the sequence that you want to add captions to in the non-beta version of Premiere Pro. Of course, you want the clearest audio for YouTube's transcription engine, so mute all of your music and sound effects, assuming you have any. Export an H.264 and upload that to your YouTube channel. Make sure you save that project. You are going to import the sequence that you created into your beta version of Premiere in a little bit. When you upload to YouTube, you can make the video private so no one can see it, when I uploaded a 30 second clip, I had to wait at least 30 minutes before the transcription showed up. You will see that previous videos you have uploaded already have a transcription. You don't have to tell YouTube to do this. It automatically creates it for videos that you upload. How long it will take for your two hour documentary, I don't know. But I uploaded this 40 minute interview and it was done when I checked it about three hours later. After you upload your video, click on the video, go to subtitles, and first you will only see this add button link here in the subtitles column. Once YouTube has created the subtitles, you will see a second line where it will have automatic next to English. According to the Google search that I did, this transcription feature is available for English, Dutch, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Russian, and Spanish. So I assume if you upload a video with one of those languages, it will say that language. Hover over the newly added line and you will see three dots that you can click on and download a VTT, SRT, or SBV file. Download the SRT file since that is what Premiere Pro will be able to import. I just went through a lot of information. I thought I would throw in a recap here. I will do this again in the middle and a final one at the end. Open Premiere Pro Beta and import the sequence that you created in your non-beta version of Premiere. You will have to enable the captions workflow for that feature to be available in Premiere Pro Beta. To do that, you will go to the beta menu and enable new captions workflow. Then you will have to quit out and reopen Premiere Pro Beta and save your project with a new name. Keep in mind, you are in a beta version. So if something is not working like it seems it should, just restart and see if that fixes it. The next step is to open the text panel under the Windows menu. Remember, all the work that you do in this beta version cannot be opened in previous versions of Premiere Pro. Make sure you are on the Captions tab and then Import Captions from File. I'll navigate to the file I downloaded from YouTube and notice when I look at the frame rate in the project panel, it says that it's 30 frames per second. I'm not sure why that is, but it didn't seem to throw off the timing for this 40 minute interview. As you'll see, all of the dialogue lined up and the transcription is great. Results may vary depending on the source. Now if I drag the .srt file into my sequence, you will see that Premiere is telling us that it will create a caption track for this SRT file. The first time I did this for a 30 second test clip, I didn't see any captions and I had to restart Premiere. Then they showed up. For some reason, the last phrase did not show up in Premiere even though when I opened the SRT file in text edit, I could see that YouTube did have that phrase in there. So I'm not sure if that has to do with it being beta or what.
Now that I have the captions in the timeline, you can see that Premiere has created this subtitle one track. I'll rename that English. I can hide the captions by clicking on this CC button, closed captions. If I click on a caption, it highlights the words over here in the captions tab. I can double click on any of these to capitalize, add text, add punctuation, etc. I can click on the text in the captions tab and my playhead will jump to that point in the timeline. This button here will add new caption segment where your playhead is. So if you are in the middle of a segment, it will split it, leaving the second half blank. You can split a transcript by clicking on this button. I can search for a word. So in this interview, I know they talk about China. So let's say I do a search and then you can click these up down buttons to jump to the next or previous instance of whatever word you searched for. I can click on this replace button and replace all of the non-capitalized words with a capitalized version. I can format all of my captions by opening the essential graphics panel right here under the windows menu, selecting one of the captions, going to the edit tab and choosing the options I want. Then clicking in the Master Styles drop down menu and saving my choices as a new master text style. I can create a second master text style. And now I can flip between the two. If you want to customize just one caption, just don't save your change as a new master text style. If you have had a translator speak a translation in time with your video, you can go through the same process and then drag that SRT file into your timeline and it will go onto a second subtitle track. Then you can name them per language. Here you are seeing me drag a random SRT file from one of my tutorials just for demonstration purposes. Okay, I've formatted my captions how I like. Now let's say I need to bring this into the non-beta version of Premiere Pro. I'm going to turn off my video layer and with my captions on, I can export media and choose QuickTime, Apple ProRes 4444 with alpha, click on output name and change the name if needed and choose where I want it to go. Now I can go back into my non-beta version of Premiere and import that file. And when I drop it on the original timeline, it should match up perfect. Carbon footprint is lower, um, but also working with these communities that are... Thanks for checking out this captions version of Video Deconstructed. I'm Nick Sanders and please subscribe and like and all that good stuff. Thank you. Questions in the comments.